So the saffronome dedicated to world peace, conflict resolution, religious freedom. I am officially launching the social media platform for the saffronome now. So it's already available. And Red Ohm for all kinds of relief work. Green Ohm for environmental protection. Fundamentally, whatever we were doing earlier, now we will evolve it more in an internationally organized way. Green Ohm, Blue Ohm, the Green Ohm will be for environmental protection. Blue Ohm is for animal rights. White Ohm is for psychological healing, spiritual counseling, helping human beings mentally, emotionally, psychologically. Yellow Om is for reviving all the Satvidya, yogic, ayurvedic, sciences, arts and culture, everything related to Hinduism. Please understand, these new organizations are not bound by any other country's law. It is international standard. It will be just an independent country. That is what you all need to know. Very important information. Please understand. <laughs> all these organizations are not formed under any individual country's law. There is a class called International Organizations which is beyond individual countries' laws. It's a separate standalone body like an independent nation. So these organizations are getting formed, evolving under that class like how the UN is independent of all countries' laws. In that way, this international organizations are getting formed. I want all of you to know. And <clears throat> there is a legal procedure for all that. There are certain countries allow these registrations and there are certain preconditions need to be fulfilled. All that is practically done. And that's the way these organizations are evolving. So all these Detailed good news will all be announced after December 14th. Now I will be giving only preliminary information how much need to know basis. Need to know basis the information will be shared. So let's all start organizing ourselves under these names and bodies. All the work we have done, see for example, Tibetan University in US started very recently. That doesn't mean the Tibetan University started only now. No, that is thousands of years old. The revival is happening now. Same way. The revival of Kailasa is happening now. Revival of Hinduism is happening now, but that does not mean it started now. No, it is there for thousands of years. 